Hello, welcome everybody to my English class. Today is uh, Friday, 15th of May 2020. We have a rainy day. Eh? The, the, the sky is grey and, and it's a little bit cold, but not very cold. Okay. Well, now uh, open your class book and your activity book and also the notebook and write the date please write with blue pen jump a line and write with blue pen the, and the date uh, today friday 15th of may 2020 well stop the video and write the date well after uh, after you have written the date uh, you go to your class book page number 48 is the story okay so go to the page 48, the story, at the zoo, at the zoo. We go to the, to the story, page 48, and first we watch the video. Watch the video of the story and pay attention. What's your favorite animal in the zoo, Sam? Guess. Has your favourite animal got wings? Oh, no, it hasn't. The parrot is not my favourite animal. Has it got a long tail and long arms and legs? No, it hasn't. The monkey is not my favourite animal. Has your favourite animal got a big head? Has it got big ears? Yes, it has. And it's got a long nose. The elephant is your favourite animal. Animal. <laughs> well, this is the story. It's very easy and very funny too. Eh? The children, the children visit the, the zoo. They are at the zoo and they see different animals. Well, now uh, we analyze the, the story picture by picture. Vamos dibujo a dibujo, vale? The, on the first picture. Uh, well, if you want, if you want, uh, we can write uh, write the new vocabulary. So uh, remember, after uh, sorry, um, under the date, debajo de la fecha, under the date, in the middle of the page, you write vocabulary. Okay, vocabulary in the middle with blue pen, and you underline with the red pen. Okay, vocabulary, and so the words that we don't know, uh, we write uh, in the vocabulary. Picture number one. Uh, what's your favorite animal in the zoo, Sam? What's your favorite animal in the zoo, Sam? Guess. Is there any word? Yes, guess. I, I think this is the first one uh, we are going to write in the vocabulary. Escribir esta. Guess. Con azul. With blue pen. Guess. La rayita. Y ponéis con lápiz. With pencil. You write. Eh, averiguar, adivinar, guess, adivinar, averiguar, ¿vale? Guess. Picture number two. Eh, has your favorite animal got wings? Wings is alas. So guess is the first word we have written in the vocabulary and second wings, alas. I think you don't, you, you know that wings are alas, but if you don't know, si no lo sabes, Write in the vocabulary with blue pen wings, alas. Uh, number three, this is the, the parrot's noise, squawk. And Sam says, no, it hasn't. The parrot is not my favorite animal. No, this is very easy, very easy. Picture number four, has it got a long tail and long arms and legs? Tiene eh, una cola tail. Esta, algunos no la sabrán. Tail, cola. Eh? Has it got a long tail? This is the tail, okay? This is the tail. Now, write with blue pen in the vocabulary, tail, cola. 
¿Mm? And long arms and legs y brazos grandes y, perdón, largos y piernas. Pop, eh? the monkey, the monkey hit uh, Sam's head and Sam says, no, it hasn't. The monkey is not my favorite animal. Eh? Number six, has your favorite animal got a big head? Has it got big ears? No, it's very easy. Splash. Splash es, recordar que este verbo, splash, también lo podéis escribir si queréis en el vocabulario. Write this verb and this not. Puede ser un sonido, un verbo o un sustantivo, ¿de acuerdo? Como verbo significa zambullirse, ¿de acuerdo? Zambullirse, splash. Y como, y como sonido es, pues eso, que está echando agua, splash, ¿vale? Eh, number... H. Yes, it has, and it's got a long nose. Yes, elephants have got, uh, sorry, elephants have got a very long, very long nose. Mm? The elephant is your favorite animal. He said, yes, maybe it's your favorite animal, but it's not our favorite animal. Well, maybe because they are wet, eh? the elephant, the elephant wet uh, Lucy and, 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 and Nick. Eh? Well, I want to tell you something. The elephant, it's, it's also my favorite animal, eh? My favorite animal is the elephant. And the second one, the eagle. El águila al segundo. The first, the elephant, and second, the eagle. What's your favorite animal? If you want to write in the notebook, what's your favorite animal? You can write it. Si quieres escribirlo en el cuaderno. My favorite animal is... Boom. You can write under the new vocabulary. Debajo del vocabulario. Puedes ponerme una frase diciéndome... Bueno, escribiendo la pregunta, what's your favorite animal? Question mark. And you answer, my favorite animal is the monkey. My favorite animal is the gorilla. My favorite animal is the cheetah, the leopard, etc. There are lots of wild animals. Please, please, don't ride the dog. Okay, we are talking about wild animals, no domestic. Talking about wild animals, animales salvajes. Que siempre me ponéis el perro y el gato. Eh? The dog and the cat are domestic animals. Only your favorite wild animal. Well, and now we listen again. Vamos a escucharlo otra vez. We listen again. And listening 26, read. activity 1. Listen word. and read. At the zoo. Remember, it's important to pronounce the sentence, okay? Repeat the sentences so you can uh, bear in mind the, the perfect pronunciation of the story. What's your favorite animal in the zoo, Sam? Get. What's your favorite animal in the zoo, Sam? Zoo, no zoo. Zoo, como un insecto. Zzz. Eh, recordar que la Z se pronunciaba zzz. Eh, what's your favorite animal in the zoo, Sam? Guess. Guess. Number two. Has your favorite animal got wings? Has your favorite animal got wings? Have your favorite animal got wings? Ah! <laughs> no, it hasn't. The parrot is not my favorite animal. No, it hasn't. Question with has. Me preguntan con tener. Has. Tiene que responder también tener. Habla del animal. Has your favorite animal. Es decir, has it got wings? Tiene, como es un animal es it. Entonces, no, it hasn't. Se puede decir yes, it has o no, it hasn't. No podríamos decir aquí yes, he has, porque no es un animal, eh, no es una persona, ni un chico ni una chica, ni un hombre ni una señora, eh, es un animal. Por eso dice no, it hasn't. The parrot is not my favorite animal. Repeat, the parrot is not my favorite animal. Picture number four. Voy a borrar esto para que lo veáis bien bien. Yeah, now. Has it got a long tail and long arms and legs? Remember, we are we are making a question intonations, okay? Pre preguntas en la entonación de preguntas, eh? Cuidado, no se puede decir has it got a long tail and long arms and legs. No, it's a question, so you make the intonation of the question. Has it got a long tail and long arms and legs? 
Has it got a long tail and long arms and legs? Repeat. Picture number five. <laughs> no, it hasn't. The monkey is not my favorite animal. And this is an exclamation. Es una exclamación. No, it hasn't. The monkey is not my favorite animal. It suppose that Sam is angry, so you pronounce this sentence angry. Okay? Number six. Number six. Has your favorite animal got a big head? Has your favorite animal got a big head? Another question. So, question, please. Has your favorite animal got a big head? Has it got big ears? Another question. Has it got big ears? In this uh, story, we are practicing the structure, sorry, the intonation of the questions. So, please pay attention to the intonation, not only to the pronunciation. Now the elephant splash, splash. Eight. Yes, it has, and it's got a long nose. Yes, it has an exclamation. Yes, it has, and it's got a long nose. Eh? The elephant is your favorite animal. The elephant is your favorite animal. Another exclamation. Otra exclamación, ¿vale? It's not our favorite animal. <laughs> it's not our favorite animal. Uh, we missed, uh, we missed, uh, write this word. Hemos olvidado escribir esta palabra. En el vocabulario, agua, agua. No es que tenga se y que das agua. Se pronuncia muy parecido. Es agua, agua, agua. Significa nuestro. Es nuestro animal favorito. It's our favorite animal. Es a possessive adjective. Es un adjetivo posesivo. Nuestro animal favorito. Por igual que dices my favorite o your favorite, para decir nuestro se dice our favorite animal. Para decir su, de él. His favorite animal. Para decir su, de ella, her favorite animal. I remember that we, we wrote the uh, possessive adjectives in the notebook uh, some months ago, but I'm not sure when. Recuerdo que los escribimos en el cuaderno, pero no me acuerdo cuándo. Eh, creo que sí los escribimos, ¿verdad? I think so. Well, anyway, remember that our means nuestro como adjetivo. Nuestro coche sería our car. Nuestra casa, our house. Nuestro ordenador, our computer. ¿Vale? And now uh, you practice this structure. Uh, these structures are questions with a third person singular in the verb have got. Trabajamos en esta la preguntas con has, tener. Para he, she o it. ¿Recordáis? Que era have I got, have you got, has he got, has she got. Has it got, have we got, have you got, and have they got. ¿Mm? Recordar que has siempre se utiliza con he, which he, he, which she, and with it. Okay? With he, she, or it. The question, start, the question starts with has. Has it got red wings? And also another thing important we learned the previous lesson. Uh, we have learned that always that we write an adjective, an adjective comes before before the noun. El adjetivo va siempre delante del sustantivo. No podía decir aquí, por ejemplo, has it got wings red? This is in Spanish. En español sí que decimos primero el sustantivo. Tiene las alas rojas. Pero en inglés es al revés. Tiene las rojas alas. Has it got red wings? And you have two possible answers. Dos respuestas. Como te preguntan con has, mira cómo aparece también has. The question with has, the answer with has. Or yes, it has. Or no, it hasn't. Me preguntan por él, de animal, pues aparece si sí, él tiene o no, no tiene. Well, now, 
Uh, we have the Mini Explorer with the lantern, eh? and in the book we have the letter H and the number 4, H4. So go to the Quest poster and the H number 4, H4, 1, 2, 3, 4 is this one. This one, what's this? A notebook. It's a notebook. So uh, in the Quest poster, in the Quest puzzle, sorry, in the Quest puzzle, unit 5, lesson 3, unit 5, lesson 3, here you write the letter N, N, eh, from notebook N. So write and close this, go again to the, we close the, no, no, please don't close the, the class book. Please let the class book open because we need it uh, with the activity book in the in the following activities. Lo vamos a necesitar con el activity book en las siguientes actividades. Here we go. Go to the uh, to the activity book page 48. Activity book page 48. Is the unit number five. Unit number five. Wild animals. And is the page related to the story? Eh? This page is related to the story. No, sorry, I have opened again the, the. No, no, I want to open the activity. What is the activity? Here is the activity, not the class book. You have your class book open, and now you open the activity book and put the activity book on the class book. Wild animal, this one. Page number 48. Yes, activity number one. You have one, two, three, four, five sentences. Read and cycle. True or false? Remember, true or false. Write true or false. For example, the number one is about the story. So if you don't remember the story, take a look to the story or review the story in the classbook. Okay? For that reason, you have here a help saying classbook page 48. In case you don't remember, go to your classbook page 48 and check the story before answering the question. Don't invent the answers, please. No se inventéis. No digáis, pues yo me acuerdo que era, creo que era, pues sí, esta mismo. No, you have the book, go to the book, page 48, and check if you agree or, or, or not. Question number one. The children, los chicos, are at the zoo. The children are at the zoo. Is it true or false according to the story? True. Good cycle, true. Now you read the number two. Sam's favorite animal is a parrot. True or false? Sam and Sophie see a gorilla. True or false? Sophie's favorite animal is an elephant. True or false? And finally, the elephant has got a long nose. True or false? You stop the video and you answer the questions. You answer the questions and uh, I wait here. Espero aquí. Picture number two, not picture number two, activity number two. Activity number two is write the words in order. Escribe las frases o las palabras, perdón, en orden. Which words do you write in order? This. You have one, two, three, four questions, but the questions, you know, the questions are not in order. Can you see? It got two eyes has. No, you write the words in order, has it got two eyes? And Sophie says, yes, it has. She's thinking of one animal. There are two animals, the flamingo and the crocodile. And so you have a remember and remember help. The tail, the head and the legs. Eh? So guess, adivina, guess my favorite animal. So he asks. Uh, some questions and she answers the questions. Mm -hmm. So please complete the question number two, the question number three, the question number four, and according to the answer, you have to guess which animal 
it is, ¿ok? Dependiendo de las respuestas y las preguntas vas a ver que tiene que salir un animal. Adivina cuál es. ¿Mm? So, we have finished for today. It's a very short lesson. It's a very short lesson. And the only thing I want to, uh, to do now is uh, some homework in your notebook, ¿ok? Quiero eh, hacer ahora alguna tarea de, para, para tu cuaderno. Como esto es muy pequeño. ¿Qué vais a hacer? What are you going to do? Very easy. I want you to write uh, six sentences in the third person singular have got. Quiero que me escribáis eh, seis frases, seis frases, utilizando la tercera persona del verbo have got. Es decir, utilizando... Para las afirmativas, has, para las negativas, hasn't, y para las interrogativas, has. ¿De acuerdo? Por ejemplo, os voy a poner, tú pones mmm, homework, pones el título, tarea, con azul, ¿vale? Como tú sabes ponerlo siempre. Homework. Homework. Si no te acuerdas, lo tenemos escrito por ahí un millón de veces. Homework. Lo subrayas con rojo. Y pone number one con red. Y haces, por ejemplo, puedes hacer dos afirmativas. Two negative and two interrogatives. One affirmative. Utilizando has. No quiero que utilices el have. Solo con terceras personas. Con he, she o it. Pues voy a hacer una con he, por ejemplo. Como es afirmativa, yo sé que con he que va. Has. He has. God, vamos a ponerle el got, aunque ya sabéis que casi no se usa, pero bueno. Has he got, perdón, he has got, él tiene, uh, no pongamos una palabra, vamos a poner también un adjetivo, ¿vale? Antes del nombre. El long tiene, he has got, el long, tiene un camión largo, por ejemplo, el long lorry. ¿Vale? Luego escribes otra, puedes poner it o she, ¿vale? Recuerda, siempre tienes que utilizar o he, o she, o it, y hacer dos afirmativas, dos negativas, por ejemplo, dices una negativa, she hasn't got a short tail, she hasn't got a short tail, o it hasn't got a, a, a big head. Y luego preguntas, la pregunta que ya sabéis que puede decir has, todas tienen que empezar por has, ¿vale? Ay, perdón, has. Vamos a hacer una con ella. Con él, venga, con un animal. Has, como es un animal, has it got a big. Tiene un. Has it got a big head. Tiene un cabezón grande. Has it got a big head. ¿Ves? Lo escribes y ya está. Has it got a big head. ¿Vale? Say phrases, two affirmative, two negatives, and two interrogatives. So, write these sentences in your notebook. No es voluntaria, es obligatoria. Bye bye, because you have the whole weekend to complete the activity. Enjoy the weekend. Bye bye, and see you next